it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Yusril, and welcome to Dragon Age Veilguard, going completely from cold, literal first boot. It has done its shader cache, and I have clicked once on the title screen, and in a very nice touch, it has dropped me straight to the accessibility menu, so I can change text and voiceover languages, set subtitle visibilities, subtitle size, okay. Um, that might... Okay, we'll stick with medium. Advanced subtitle settings, customized appearances, if you're so inclined. See size of in-game text. Okay, let's nudge that up to size 2, just to make it more readable, because I'm aware that a lot of people are going to be watching this in a downscaled version. Uh, disable UI, switch between, hold and tap interaction. Okay, nice touch. Persistent dot, I like this. Um, small dot that says okay, so you've always got a reference point for exactly where you're looking. And you can also cycle through Protonopia, Deuteranopia, and Tritonopia color blindness modes. So, yoink. Nice to have that. And also nice that it changes the graphics here on the fly as you adjust that setting. So many options menus, you have to guess. Hopefully that holds for the rest of the graphics options. Hello, Legolas. Right, motion blur off, go away. I hate motion blur with a passion. Uh, keyboard maps, customized keyboard maps, mouse sensitivity, kind of hard to judge without being in game, but we'll leave it at the defaults for the moment. Mouse acceleration off by default, thank you. Another passion I, another option I loathe with a passion, but that may just be me and those controller options. So continue on that. Graphics presets, what's it gone for? Stereo or surround? I'll, I'll stick to surround, don't mind my headphones can handle that. Sound presets, narrow dynamics, television speakers, headphone mode, okay, wide dynamic range, night mode reduced bass, okay, let's stick with headphone mode, 3D audio, software level, just over platform level 3D audio. For optimus ways to remember to use head stereo headphones and disable any virtual sound processing. So things like Steel Series Sonar are recommended to be turned off. Uh, technically my headphones can do 7-1 processing in hardware, so that shouldn't be an issue. We'll see how well it plays. Yeah, I never had a submotion blur either, but it's a wonderful way of covering up um, less than optimal textures. Let me know if the volume's okay, we'll see how the balance goes and tweak that as necessary. Graphics settings, where are we? Custom. Um, use custom prefix, presets to adjust graphics settings manually, reset required for setting change. Okay, we'll leave things as they are. Okay, HDR calibration, move a blue box to the same brightness. screen can do I think it's a I assume this is it meant to be a nits. I'm gonna nitpick here and say that actually having a confirmed unit here would be nice because maybe we go below yeah we go below a thousand and once I kick past a thousand I should find yeah that's meant to be a nit setting isn't it so if you know the nit value of your screen probably just set it straight for that and we are done. Settings. I would have liked an option to get more detail into the graphics, but it seems to have decided just to ramp everything. Fair enough. Um, da -da 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 -da. Depth of field only in cinematics. Thank you. Motion blur off vignette. Okay. There it is. Oh, modifiable field of view. I approve even of the option, even if I do to just leave this at developer default. And it's cracking everything at option. Ultra and custom graphics only recommended for high-end graphics cards. Hmm. Okay. Where's the option for DSR? Field. Oh. Okay, interesting that oh, maybe it's in display. Borderless window, the fourth view, so it's picked all of that up from the operating system. V-Sync on, triple buffering on, okay. And yeah, there we go, frame gen operation should be in here somewhere. DLSS upscaling. 
Alright, well, we'll see. I'm inclined to leave things as they are at the moment. Tartan 30 FPS? Really? Huh. I mean... Let's crank that to 60. Interesting, it automatically turned anti-aliasing and brain gen on. Right, but we'll try to keep it 60 FPS anyway. Uh, graphics. I'm surprised they didn't give us the display and graphics in the initial setup. Again, I am being incredibly pedantic here. Hello, Donana. Controls, interface, high quality conversations. All right. Other? Okay. Can you... Really? Okay, fine. I, I, I don't push my maturating too far. So thank you very much for that. We will just uh, keep the underwear on. <laughs> and all their various third-party and open-source licenses. Share usage data, eh? eh? Tut, tut, tut. Well, they can have it for the moment. Right, let's get into this. I knew him as Solus. Smart, thoughtful, loved to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had a different name. The Dreadwolf. Ah. Ancient elven god of lies, or... Heroic rebel against tyranny, depending on which story you believe. Mm, possibly both at the same time. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, uh -huh. creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic, their freedom. Even their immortality. But possibly a trade worth it if now, you were dealing with a bunch Solus of wants to tear down dick that veil and undo the damage he caused. Ah. Even if that means our world has to burn. Well, that would be unfortunate. Somebody's got to stop him. And that's where you come in. Well, thank you, Varric. Yeah, freedom. I mean, this is Dark Age. It's a relative term. Uh, I suspect if you end up playing as an elf, you'll get accused of being a class traitor. Right, humanity's race comes into power in this rage. Dwarves cannot use magic, but have combat skills are feared across Thedas and across the Kunari. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's just go with... Mm. Yeah, let's go with baseline human for the moment. All right, so cycle appearance, randomized, pretty much by the looks of it. Although I know I get the option to change things later on anyway. Don't, 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 don't. Not too bad so far. Okay, let's just continue on that. Identity. But the opponent has addressed how his season stuff does not affect gameplay. Interestingly, they explicitly say that that it does not affect gameplay. They admit there, so huh. I mean, Thedas can be a thoroughly nasty place at times, but that's besides the point. Anyway, let's just roll on with that. So, fighter, mage, or thief. Um. Aspirational armor. Starting outfit. Uh, okay, that's a little more uh, basic, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Hmm. Powerful precise strikes for lethal damage. You no, know, I normally go with fighter archetypes in this, but let's make mix things up and go with the rogue for the moment. Totally not because in the back. Is a minor detail. So the Grey Wardens gain rep with the Grey Wardens more quickly, increased damage versus Darkspawn, base defense and other slightly increased at the cost of, you know, temporary lifespan. The Veil Jumpers, eh? Explore ancient elven ruins, although found by us to welcome anyone brave enough to face Arlathan's reality warping magic. Veil Jumper rep. 
increased damage versus Fate touched and increased critical weak point. That might suit a stabby type, depending on how things build. Uh, under post corrupt rulers and slavery in Tevinta. Increased damage against Venatorial and quicker resources gained in combat, presumably. Lord's Fortune. Okay, so basically you get a bonus with one faction, a damage boost against one type of enemy, and one other bonus. Hmm. The Antiven Crows. Feeling increased damage. Hold an extra potion. That sounds like it might be a good option to have, if only for the, you know, oh, bleep, bleep, bleep moments when you could really use an extra potion. And, you know, a little bit of rep from being one of the local assassins wouldn't hurt either. Of course, it might backfire. Let's go with the crows. Assassin extraordinaire. Tied to new crow, recent principal for membership. Despite saving lives, the unknowingly whoopsies unknowingly compromised a larger crow operation against the Antarm and hacked off his superiors. Well, that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Though I'm a headstrong young idiot who didn't bother to consider that my commanders might possibly have uh, let that patrol through deliberately. Details. Right, so combat resets. So balanced. Party composition of equipment choices. Here for the story. Oh, this this is difficulty. Here for the story. Here for action. Here to be pushed. <laughs> Yikes. And nightmare. Slicing nightmare can't be undone without a new playthrough. And what's this one? Unbound. Uh, custom settings. Okay, let's just stick with let's stick with adventurer for the moment, because I presume that's how the devs intended it to be experienced. And finalize. You can refer to some of some Dragon Age Inquisition by using the customize option. Okay. Um, well, I didn't really get through Inquisition, did I? So. Pass Adventures of the Inquisition, leave that as default, I think, but that's a nice touch to have. Unless you want, it's less intrusive than going the Mass Effect route and literally flipping through your save games to see what you did and didn't do. Yeah. Right, done, finalize, and confirm. Yes, I, I'm sure. Let's get going. So, where were we? Oh, oh my, yeah, angry elven him. demigod. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathos, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. Lucky but to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the Cedar's bar point. in town. And a missing contact. Of course, because it's never simple if the uh, contact actually shows up. Time. Also, I like that transition. That was very smoothly done. That was less smoothly done. Let's try this again. Where's Nev Gallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? Yep. Apparently so. <sighs> I'll do more than demand. Well, let's talk this out. It's not a demand, it's an offer. Telling me what I need to know is... is the smart play here. How'd you figure, sweet talker? 
Well, if I flatten all your guards. This is my only shot at finding the Dreadwolf. I need to know where she is. We were supposed to meet here, in your bar. But you let Venatory cultists drag her away. Whoops. I didn't let them. They paid me. Ah. So answer my questions them. and walk away with the coin. Or spend it cleaning up the place when I'm through. Your choice. You're adorable. Dumad Plaza. That's where you'll find Nev Gallus. Well, thank you. Thank you. You want to get yourself killed fighting the Venatori? It's your ass. Hey, my donkey has nothing to do with this. That offer's good for all of you, too. Yeah, I'm not going to no. take it, are you? If they won't listen to you, they can always listen to Bianca. And she might need to repair the floor anyway. Huh. Some... I've got a path, Bianca. What, she just... Your friend Nev Gallus is at Dumont Plaza. But it's into solid stone. That's why you're my second in command. Thank you. Although, for the record, you might be too charming for your own good. Oh, come on. Hmm. Right. Um... What did I have to worry about? You were there watching my back. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. It's probably not even good at ale anyway. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. Hey, Sabathun let the ship. Palace. Something Ooh. must have gotten them riled up. Alright, give me a second. Something has gotten into my control settings. It's not the console, which means it's probably a slider on my joystick. Let's see if adjusting anything here helps. Nope, nope. No. This is why an option to disable controllers would be really nice to have. Uh, controls, input, class bindings, keyboard mappings, customized controller bindings, sprint jump. Okay. What happened to just disable controller? Um zero let's crank all the sensitivities down to zero see if that does the trick and all the dead zones up to max control of vibration should not be an issue okay and i have mouse control all right new plan all the uh usb links there goes one your controller was just there oh well spotted now, and there goes two, unless it's the rudder. Nope, it is having an incredibly bad day. Right, all controllers are disconnected, and the mouse is still having a field day. Wonderful. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Probably, except let me just pull the cable on my rudder pedals as well. This is a thing that really irritates me about a lot of modern games, and Dragon Age is not the only one. It's a Elden Ring, I think, has annoyed me like this a few times as well. It's that if they don't allow you to set excuse me, a preference on your controller just override and say i know i've got a controller plugged in in my case well i have multiple controllers because i play a lot of star citizen and a bit of elite and some other flight sims and i have a hotas rig uh, 
Okay, you know what? Let's override this and hit the extra there. But the option to just say, no, I want to use a given control setup and ignore everything else would be really, really, really nice to have. Uh, okay, controls. Right, customize controller bindings, mouse sensitivity, mouse acceleration, controllers. Okay, we'll bring the rest of this back to 100%. Hopefully it behaves itself at that point. Okay, dead zones. Point one on both. Okay, we'll just restore defaults on that. There we go. And let's see if this behaves itself. The only thing is it's now behave it's now gone to uh keyboard settings on the uh menu options and it's not recognizing that either. Uh terrific. What is throwing an input? Okay, new plan. Save game. Oh, decision save and okay, that's a nice touch that if you make a decision that you dislike, you can run back, and you can also run back to the start of a chapter. So, um, okay, auto save, start. Okay, and there we go. Minarathus, right, let's drop back to the main menu. There we go. Hey, it's been so yeah, absolutely, Dale. Ah. Uh, Okay, and it's absolutely not answering the controller at this, the Xbox controller at this point, so I can only assume it got uh, hooked up on a POTAS rig somewhere. Unless. Hang on. Um, pull you. I wonder if I just uh, disabled the wrong thing. Continue. Okay, down. now it's answering mouse and key. It's palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. Oh, any particular reason, or should we be in more of a hurry to get out of here? We don't want to look conspicuous. Cool. Just get out of here, nice and casual. Find Nev Gallus and stop Solus. Yeah, nice and casual. Says the guy you walking around with a talk to down before he starts his big ritual. Tall as his. That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the fade and an endless number of demons. So besides I that, have to talk him down. Okay. Uh. Are you are you coming, Barrett? Come on. Uh, no matter. Let's get to Harding. Us. Is it because of the bar? No. Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially if we. Okay, they just teleported her out then. Oh, and that looks like the veil going. Uh... Oh, crap. Yep. Ritual started, but if we hurry, we can still stop Solus before it finishes. Let's go. Looks like they're not interested Arnie's in arresting way. the uh, thief anymore. And you know, Watch all out. the demons. Is Solus summoning demons on purpose? Nope. I, I think they're just the leaking. And they're slipping through the cracks. And when the veil comes down completely. And the whole world is going to look a lot like this. On a good day, I might add. Oh, at least it's Ventura bringing some artillery. Come on, this way. It should get us to Harding. Lucky me. Right, F to jump the mantle. Yup. You're safe now. 
Get inside and bar the door as quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harley, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the fade in years. Well, at what least the magisters are, are helping. Okay? Veil as in Veil Guard, yes, Sepron. Uh do, 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 do. Never better. Bought some demons and the Archon's Palace took a few shots at us. Nothing we couldn't handle. Speak for yourself. Have you got <laughs> my gear? Right over there. Yay! Stabby and shooty Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? Uh, no. Then a Tory got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages. But their timing stinks. The <laughs> bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Of course it Follow was. Me. Now we know why. Eyes up! We've got company! Oh, hi, guys. Arrows. Steam. Okay, perform a light attack up to five times to create chain. Mass hits final and deals increased damage. Here they come. Also, try not to get stabbed. Alright, space to evade. Space to evade very carefully. You should probably be teaching me about evasion before I get shanked by the angry demons. Pack you to defend. That would have been welcome to know about a minute ago. Right, so you actually have to go for the intercept rather than just holding it That's defend. The last of them. Good. Let's get to Dumont Plaza and find Right. Them. Chug up. You two all right? Hat yourselves up if you need it. Yeah, I'm good. I don't get it. If Solus tears down the veil, doesn't that destroy everything? Probably. You are in violation of Imperial order. I don't think they care, Templar. Oh no, I think that's Dumont Plaza. Oh. Let's move. They're the ones who made trouble at the bar. <laughs> and you're the ones who got eaten by a bunch of angry demons. Congratulations. Okay, incoming warning on ranged attacks, and they tell you where the shooter's coming from, which is a nice touch. We'll go for cover there. Looks like the Venatori put up a barrier to block the way. Who wants to bet we can fix it by stabbing them all in the face? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, maybe we can't fix it by stabbing them all in the face. Destroy crystals. Okay. Right, movements are... Fine movements are a little bit awkward. Might end up going to a uh, controller anyway for this, actually. More intruders. Come on! Avenge our fallen brethren! I mean, we have met a bunch of trolls that want. Nasty bastards. Uh, yep, that's them. I'm guessing that is a bit of uh, specific dialogue. Nice try. That would be sensible advice, except we're trying to help. Come on. Guess we're sliding down. And looting the place dry, of course. Who wants to bet that at some point the slides are going to involve debris? Oh, it's nice to be popular. Use static strikes. Make sure it meant by attacking enemies uninterrupted. There we go. So hold tab. Left mouse button to collect. Okay. Right, so watch for the intercepts. Come on then. Ow. Venatori, take your revenge! 
How about no? Right, select not enough momentum. Okay. Right, I'm being stabbed interrupts spell casting. Unsurprisingly. But it looks like Nev's work, not the Venatories. Okay, hi, can you let us in? Well, I don't think the kidnapping right, went as planned. Not the worst timing. Nev, it's so good to see you. We thought the Venatori had kidnapped you. Well, they details. thought the same thing. A lot of Venatori in the city have reason to hate me. Figured I'd play along. Find out who wanted to settle the score this time. Of course. Then the sky started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. Appreciate it. Rook, this is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. Nev meet Rook. Harding and I found him a while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece? One of the strongest pieces on the board, but he tends to think in straight lines. Aye. Right. Nice job with the Venatori. Nice to meet you. Based on the Venatori, you've got excellent taste in enemies. I do my best. You said you had a lead? I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. Can we move a bit faster, please? You know, end of the world and all that. Beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go, before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. He probably is. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. All citizens in the canal district must remain in their homes. Possibly go a bit faster, though. So if we do catch Solus, or the Dread Wolf, whatever he calls himself, what's the plan? He wants to bring down the veil. Hopefully that ritual takes his full attention. So we catch him while he's doing his ritual, so he can't fight us. That's the hope. If it comes to a straight up fight, we're dead. Oh, nice to know you're optimistic. Yeah, I figured that out, but, you know, this. loot. Um... I don't see any more loot, so let's just get moving. Nope. There. That's the building I tracked Solus to. Looks like the Venatori also found it. And then demons found them. Great. So, two mutually solving problems. I like this already. Of course, the survivors might be unhappy to see me. What's this looks important? Ah, extra health potion. Note self, keep an eye out for green glows. Green glows might be good. Might make across here. Yep, we're good. Range tap, press right mouse button to fire the bow. Hold to aim, arrows replenish over time. Barriers click the peak and quickly with go. Dud. Now is that purely an anti-melee thing or can you no no but you can get through with melee attacks as well? Enchantment on the entrance. I can get it. Thank you. Please do so. Hopefully, I didn't set off any alarms. So this is the Dread Wolf's hideout. One of them, at least. Yeah. Not sure how long he's been here. Some of this looks do. ancient. Animation's so not too bad, but than itself. Hmm. Yeah. Also, I note the resemblance to Venatory cloaks. That's not a no-min at all, honest. 
Broken chains. Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. Uh, huh. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to help them. Well, I mean, he might not have been wrong. What do you see? No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous. Yeah, yeah, it probably is. And one quiet little transition to cover a bit of scenery loading. Do, 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 do. Hi. That. Here, snag myself a health potion. Anything else worth checking here, or am I inadvertently looking for? Ah, no, I'm inadvertently finding the lever to unlock the door. Surprise! It sounds like that opened something below. Then like let's have a look. the door. Okay, it's the tutorial. They've kind of got to be really hand-holdingly obvious at this point. Loot. Ah, this looks like his quarters, and oh hey, artifacts. Anything we can use? Or no, it's not looking promising, is it? <laughs> nice reflections, by the way. This the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook. Yeah. It's called an alluvian. They're elven and very old. What do they it do? It acts like a doorway from one place to another. Solus uses them to get around quickly. So jump he to the freaky gate. Ah. Oh. I don't get to just take a running. I, I missed loot, did I? Boo! Whoops. Oh well, it's just a tutorial, it can't be that important. Well, we're not in Manrathus anymore. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. Uh -oh. The tremors are getting worse. And so are the demons. Now we've got demons. And the one glowing yellow is probably a really bad sign. Okay. Okay. Trying to keep dodging and stabbing. Okay. The demons were bad back in Midrathus. This is just a tutorial, but it wasn't too bad. No telling what could come through. Oh, goody. Well, tank up on potions. And keep going, I suppose. Does it feel like those tremors are getting worse? Yes. Try not to think about it. Oh, I see. So combo attack coming out of a sprint. Dead. Loot. Spare health potion. Not relevant at this point, but nice of you to give me the opportunity to heal up anyway. We get tremors every time one of those big crystals at the ritual site lights up. That's many of probably not light. a... Probably not a coincidence. Oh. 
Looks like holding the attack gives us a heavy slash, so yeah, it works. Another potion. Oh, loot. Don't forget the loot. Ignore the potions because I'm full. Lucky ass. How can you headshot a demon? Beyond the obvious answer, it shoots in the head. Do they even have heads? Hmm. Probably not worth considering too closely. Right, ritual site approach. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Go, missing Paris. Thank you, whoever shot that one in the back. It's much appreciated. Right, go, 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 go. Uh -oh. Well, that looks big and angry. We have to stop this demon quickly. Nathan! Yeah, headshots do work. Get them. Dodge into the lightning if you don't mind. Okay, yes, headshots are a thing. How did demon this large get through the veil? It's a pride demon. Damn thing probably sent Solus's ego. <laughs> And now it's banished, dead, take your pit. Everyone all right? Good enough. Let's get to Solus. And okay, magical barrier of non-stabby and probably non-talky as well. <sighs> Um, if we're going to stop him, we kind of need right. to do it now. I'll take it from here. Are you sure? Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Eric, okay. Solus isn't going to stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option to help him justify changing his mind. Okay. You can do it. We've got your back. <laughs> Harding and Neve disapproves. Neve approves, he Harding can. disapproves. Okay. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. Good luck with that. I suspect we're doomed regardless. More demons. Take care of the team for me. Well, that's a dead flag, isn't it? Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. All right. Let's buy him some time. And you know, hope the flying demons don't come past us. We can't hold these demons off forever. Alright, that yellow halo is the warning, but I need to get the timing a bit better. Yeah, so, okay, so push Q when it goes to yellow. Or not. The 
veil is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the... People are dying right now. You need to listen. Bianca. Always dying. It is what they do. Shit. We need a better plan. Do you Arrow want to, me to the take back. A shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. We just what need to distract him. How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. So we will not interrupt it. what about it. the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. So can you army of demons? Idea? Fine. But you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Right. Um. Uh. Needs probably more powerful. Harding, back me up. Let's go, Harding. Nev, keep the demons off us. You got it. Bad guy has a. Bad guy has a point. Yeah. Best, best bad guys always do. Okay, didn't mean to do that. All that. Okay, come on. Go, 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 go. Come on. Mantle up and over. This is it! Done. Why? Timber? Why tear down the veil? Knowing all the lives it'll cost. We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling. We need to push it. I'm with you. Together, now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. No, but it does end with that statue's downfall. Please. And apparently Solus has friends. Yeah, the the ritual got busted, so um yeah. 
Solus is now on plan B, and it looks like his friends are going to be even more of a problem. <laughs> huh, where did Solus go? Probably get that stitch, mate. You know, as Dragon Age prologues go, I think we've had worse days at the office. But not by much. I mean, Origins had a worse day at the office, you arguably. You have no idea what you have done. Oh, hey, Freaky Vale interlude. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world. When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the fate. Congratulations. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood uh -huh. magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. Man's got a point. Fine, talk. All right, you brought me here to talk. What are we talking about? The Evanurus, or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. Ah, In terrific. ancient times, they ruled the elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped, and the blighted elven gods walk free. You let them out. Mm -hmm. Thanks to me, I wasn't the one performing a big ritual to free them. Free them? My mortal enemies. I was ensuring that they would never escape their prison. By collapsing the prison? You were tearing down the veil. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... ...quite practiced at shading the truth himself. Uh -huh. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. So, Tuesday and Thursday. It my then. power to imprison them millennia ago. But I am certain you will be fine. Okay, now I'm worried. <laughs> That's really helpful. What are you, the elven god of sarcasm? Lies, treachery, and rebellion, depending upon the story. And how could I help? I do not have my ritual dagger. No, Varric's got that. I cannot that. access my network of mirrors to travel from the lighthouse to anywhere in the world. All I can offer is what I know. Helpful advice from the elven god of, and I am quoting you here, <laughs> lies, treachery, and rebellion. Depending on the story. Of course. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Great. Also, Yep, get the uh, dagger. We're gonna need it. Why? Why tear down you the veil? Do you want me to take the shot? No! You have no idea what you have done. Hey, it's not dead. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. Varric? You're okay. But I saw Solus stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it take more than a flesh wound to stop me. That looked like more than a flesh wound. Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. Yeah, it's... Oh, more options? What exactly happened?
Okay, it's worse than you think. Varric, when we stopped the ritual, something else got out. Something even Solus is afraid of. You've got this, Rook. World's not flooded with demons right now. Because you stopped Solus, not me. Varric, even so, I need you to... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like your impulsive rescue of those captives from the Antam slavers. Nice background call. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole soulless mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook? You're awake. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to barge in. I was just looking for Alfred. No, it's it's fine. I was the just going to Oh, my really? Legs. We know about Elgin then, then. Oh, Rook. Watch your step out there. If you put a foot wrong, you'll fall forever. Yeah, on top of everything else, the Illuvian took us to the Fade. The place where dreams come from, so... That. Yeah. Then I really need to look around. Yeah, you should. And we should talk about things. Maybe find Nev. She's outside, looking around. Probably There's a room with a table happy. down the stairs. I'll meet you there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. Yeah, I don't see Varric making it to the end of this episode kid. somehow. J you know, just thought, I mean, yeah, technically the plan worked. We are not overrun with demons. Yink. Ooh, Plate of the Blood Dragon. Ah, of course, the pre-order rewards. Because technically I did pre-order by about three hours. Okay, okay. Customization. Oh, so this is the light. Ah, this is uh, Solus's old elk cave. Sort of. So we have Trump. We can probably hijack his transport mirrors. And if we're really lucky, we've got his ritual dagger as well. So things are going tolerably well. And if I'm really lucky, aha. Uh -huh, We've got some background information on our two escaped gods. Yeah, yeah, something even worse, Seppel, absolutely. Technically, the plan worked. There were just some small complications. Whoa. He's got quite the bachelor pad, hasn't he? Look who's with us. We're, uh, we're really in the fade. Land of raw magic, nightmares, and this, apparently. It's a lot to take in. Harding thought we should talk about what comes next. She's not wrong. But if you need a breather, can't hurt to look around first. I think she's supposed to teed off the sun so much it tried to burn the earth to a... Oh, right. Okay, okay. Nothing major then. Just a few minor uh, details. Okay, so specialization. So by the looks like we've got an inner ring of core skills. Then we can advance out into bows and other specializations, and then finally run out into a single high end spec. Okay. All specs first, then. So, repost. After success to end, you can now counterattack, evasive maneuvers. Use your speed to launch an attack. So double space and then left mouse button or sprint left. Exploding arrow. Uh -huh. Light and ranged attack. Sticky target. Okay, we'll have that one. And jump attacks guarantee. Critical hits time knocked down. Lose less momentum if you take damage. Considering I haven't got my parry timing down, that's probably a good skill to have. Uh, okay, and then you go out into the middle ring. Um, 
Okay, let's go with counter-attack. Right. Done. Library. Codex, missives, terminology. The Elven Gods, the ancient rulers of the ancient Elven Empire, also referred to as the Evanurus, the Inquisition. Okay. Combat, creature enhancements, details there. Have a map, codex, elven people, uh, the elven gods. It looks like I'm going to have to discover all of this and then just poke around to talk to everybody. Looks like Neve wants to talk and is, does that imply that it's time critical? Optional, yeah, it probably is time critical. Or at least if I don't do it before I move on the main quest, I'm going to lose the opportunity. Well, if it, yeah, got it. So it's on a timer, in effect. All right, let's go have a chat. Wisps. Figures are in the fate, but I swear they're following me. Mm, probably trying to find right. you're a mage. Strange place you've fallen into, but I'll work with it. You know me. Uh, do I? I know Varric wanted you for the job. You know the same about me. Lip sync is a It's a start. Uh, it's just that little bit weird. Hope we can build on it. You're right. We're in this together either way. Ha! <laughs> We're in for a treat. You take a lot of notes. What about? Lately, what we know, or knew, before Solus changed the game. And it's... Not much. I'm sure Lace would hate to hear that, but one step at a time. Okay. Start with a big goal. Or we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. I'm sure of it. Really? Do you know something I don't? No, we just... Well... Well, we have to, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the job. Okay. Yeah, no little wisps. Anything to loot? Nope. Okay, and talk to Harding as well. And, you know, have a rummage around just to see if there's anything to be had. Ooh, a dining room. Lovely. Oh, of course he was only laying the table for one. What did I expect? Oh. Aha! Hidden chest. Thank you. One bit of loot. Now what else have we got? Notes on a caretaker. Notes on a caretaker. This note has smooth paint. Have they always been here? They're being to the crossroads unknown to the wise. This caretaker belongs here now. Hmm. I hope you're reading this if Trevor really has a submit to hard to get messages through. Things are cooled. Talons are still complaining. Uh huh. I am one of the talons still complaining, consider it a contract. Uh huh. Don't get careless out there, don't fail. Don't get killed or I'll come after you and play myself, Viago. Well, Viago has no idea how right he was. And the Shadow Dragons. Doo -doo -doo. Right. Templars do not take Lyrium, they're not compared, but follow the the Magisterium. Okay, so the Shadow Dragons are the uh, Tevinter's magical police. And the Fells and Dusty and Tiva. Okay, this is alphabetical. Do we have anything on. Ah, that's Solas. Elganan.
they do we know anything about Elganan? No, nope, beyond what people have picked up from our older games. Okay. Book. Book not useful. Pity. And come on. Round down. Ah. Actually, uh, Harding said she'd wait at the library table, so she should be here. Hmm. Now. There's Varric. Okay, no, Harding's to the south. Fine. wasn't supposed to go this way. What do we do now? What do we do? Harding? Oh, hey, Rook. Uh, how's it going? I should be asking you that. I got you hurt. This is a dangerous job. Everyone knew that signing on. There's so much to do. We have to keep going. Are you sure you're all right? Maybe you should rest. Okay, so she doesn't like yes, being Rook. questioned. I'm fine. This is nothing. I'm just a little dizzy. I'll walk it off. Or something. She's got a concussion. Oh, I think you can't just... Oh, yeah? Watch me. We need to get back to the ritual site, don't we? Let's stop worrying about me and go do that. Come get me when you're ready to go. Okay, so Harding does not like being questioned. Got it. Okay, to the library. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey. Varric made his choice to go talk with Solas. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solas is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solas called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? Sorry, it was while I was unconscious. Solus appeared in my dream. Really? I'm glad you're all right. From what I saw, he's trapped in the Fade now. Not here, but some kind of prison. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams, even kill them. Well, he, he said kill our connection me. wasn't strong enough for him to do that. He could only reach me because I bled at the ritual site when I got banged up. So Solus is using blood magic, like any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. Uh, he is a frankly terrifying god. He nearly brought down the veil, Nev. Can you do that? You know it's not that simple. He may not be a prayers and blessings kind of god, but he's a lot more than just a mage. Mm. All right. Well, we've stopped the ritual, and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. Yeah, except there You're is. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything. But we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solas had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elganan and Gilanane, two of the ancient elven gods that Solas rebelled against. They're... worse than Solas. Solas warned me about them being evil, which is pretty rich coming from the guy who just tried to tear down the veil. You don't believe him? No, that's the problem. I do believe him. Mm. 
He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Yep. Solus says Elganarn and Gilanane drew on the blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one god running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. That about we sums it up. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that, without Varric. And you're still getting back on your feet. I'm fine. We can't just sit here and do nothing. We need to investigate. Figure out what we're dealing with before we rush in and make things worse. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? I hate to say this, but Neve is right. If Elganarn and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we can't go in blind. We need to know what they can do and what they want. But we only have Solus's word about all of this. And let's go investigate for ourselves. We find out what we're dealing with, and then we take our shot. Fine. The Alluvian led us here instead of back to Minrathis. Let's hope it goes back to the ritual site. Maybe we can find some clues at the scene of the crime. Harding, you okay to go? I'm not gonna sit back while elven gods destroy the world because I have a headache. All right then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. Okay, works for me. Gillian's the bioterrorist, by the way. Oh, lovely. So we have a bioterrorist and a nuke happy terrorist god. Okay. We're gonna have so much fun, aren't we? Right, magic mirror, go. Oh, more loot. Well, he likes his, uh... He likes his drops into raw magic, doesn't he, Solus? The Dreadwolf Saluvian. Uh, yoink, must have been that one of those kinds of gods. Mm. Hm. The singing sun can change its tune to take us to any Alluvian. If you have questions, ask for the slow arrow and I will guide you. Oh. Okay, so we can change destination by adjusting this song that these things are singing. Well, that sounds remarkably simple, doesn't it? Fair enough. Okay, let's go. For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. If it even takes us back to Arlefin. Two dozen. Let's go. Hardy, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Well then. Shall we? Let's do this. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. Yeah, and all we have to do is get back there. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right, let's take a look around and see if we can find... Okay. Mechanical Golem! Lovely. Cut it down! I'm trying! It's not working! I can't contain it! Oops! Okay, so destroy the control orb to uh, shut down magical golems. Point made and taken. Strife? Irlin? It's me, Lace Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. 
I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irulan. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. Hi. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Just what we Hardly need. experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's. Sorry, Solus's ritual, isn't it? You Probably. all were supposed to stop him. We did, sort of. We did stop him. The sky's not pulling itself apart anymore, is it? But. But it didn't go as cleanly as we hoped. Solus got pulled into the Fade, and two somethings got pulled out. Or someones, I mean. Two of the evil elven gods. Elganon and Gilanane. Methalanast. The elven gods of old. The Evan Eurus. Yep. If they truly have returned. Then things just got a whole lot worse. Okay, so what's next? So Elganon and Gilanane are loose. Which means what? You thought Solus was bad. He's a bit of a bastard, true. But next to them, let's just say they weren't known for their kindness. Mm, we There's know a this. Reason Solus led a rebellion against the Evaniris, and a reason he imprisoned them. But now they've escaped. Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of veil jumpers unaccounted for. Looks like I'm going to be doing How some accounting. We, we need to find Belara Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. But and also at blowing them up. I she like her already. She was looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. Then you two get your friend back to your camp and we'll... <laughs> we'll find Ballara. Uh, do, 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 do. Harding, I need you to stay with Strife and Irulan, all right? What? No, I'm coming with you. You're a great shot, Harding. You can help the Veil vale Jumpers here. They need you. Uh, fine. Since they need me. We'll meet you back at the Veil vale Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Valara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Okay. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. So I managed to get Harding out of danger without too badly damaging her ego. Ah. So one of the uh, signs of Elven Magic is apparently a green glow and gravity going wonky in the immediate area. Point taken. Is it me? Or is there something strange about this fog? I've never seen fog like this. Something's not right. Yeah, let's not stand near the angry golem, shall we? Discreet approach. So that suit of armor is moving. Never mind! I'm going to dodge. Hi. Oh, people. Where'd you come from? Delara? Delara Luter. Strife and Irulin sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Nev Gallus. Wait, I know that name. But protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. 
The elven gods Elganarn and Gilanane have escaped from Fenharel's prison. And it seems like they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait. I need a second. It's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Go on. Like what exactly? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. Yeah, that was us. Now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god or gods could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was going to head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a veil bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. Oh. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. And you bring it down? Strife and Irulan said you're their best veil jumper. Hope that means you've got an idea. Maybe. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I sure hope so. Well then, let's get going. <laughs> I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs keep getting in the way. A few dozen demons shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. Oh, lovely. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Ah, and I'm guessing it sees us as threats. Seems like a logical conclusion, doesn't it? Alright, now what's this way? You look interesting. Mm, no, just random fireflies. And oh! Okay, water, so water doesn't normally do that. We call that kind the whirlpool. The anomaly, I mean. Never seen one this size, though. Right, get to the temple, which means getting up here. Looks promising. Also looks like an excellent ambush spot. Right where we need to go. Let's deal with Okay, use tab to select companion's ability. Alright, so, okay, replenish and time slow. Do it. Got it. N to show pressing the objective markers, okay. And onwards. Any ideas on what the artifact we're looking for might be? I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. We might find some clues in the ruins though. So break everything and look for clues, got it.
I don't usually see elven ruins that haven't been picked over. Not many people come this far into Arlathan. Just veil jumpers, mostly. Let me guess, and most of the ones that world, do apparently. don't um, get to come back out? Just speculating there. You know, nothing major. Also, equipment, inventory, warm leathers versus jumpers, deft leathers. Okay. Uh, 11 defense, ability damage increased. But less protection against arrows and other pointy things. Yeah, a certain amount of buffies be going on. 50% arrow generation, 15% regeneration. Those are locked at the moment, so I'm guessing they will unlock as I carry on. I'm guessing. Okay. Well, isn't this a sight? Mm. Wait, is this? No, it can't be. Not here. Well, this is Come bad. On. We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. Go on, and... It almost feels like an armory, or something like that. Why would there be an armory this far out? Because they're More guarding parts. something. Ancient elves had a lot of them. So uh, what's the uh, detail about this artifact that's got you so worried? Also, is there a secret? Mm, no, it's the courtyard uh, that we just came down from. Just so that little night to be turned on the map. No way across. Uh, maybe. maybe. Oh, no, nope. we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere nearby. Got it. Got it. Bring it over here and slot it in. And there we go. Easy. Wow. Isn't that something? Until it all goes horribly wrong. A resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the ring temple to this area. I need to shut it down before we can go up the path. Yeah, you do you. Doing I'm just going to will attract any place. nasty that's hanging around. We're ready. Okay. Broken drive, malfunctioning. Okay. Uh, Belara, ah, Tink. Oh, right, so you're doing this as a cued ability. Belara can use an item. Okay. Do your stuff. I Back warning. Flash more around the head. Yeah, I figured that out. Thank okay. you. Kill that bit. Hmm. Hold this thing to one shot, okay? Hi, okay, not itself. Oh. Getting uh, shot while in the middle of a ranged attack or a spell pass into us. Got range. Oh. So they regenerate over time. Eggs! Or you can just murder them, in which case they fall over. Right, is this done? Got us from a distance! Never mind. Right, clear and done and no auto heal on the that's a, of the magic that's energy. annoyance. Pat should be clear ahead. Hooray! Skills. Um, gain precision after a successful defend, evasive maneuvers. Yeah, let's go with that. Get my core abilities sorted out first and then think about specialization. Yoink. It's, yeah, it's more of an action RPG than an old school isometric one. Dragon Age went that way, I think, if not two or three, then definitely with Inquisition. Yeah. I can work with it. Hmm. 
not having to micromanage the entire party is worthwhile. Excuse me. Nope. No, he's not. Uh, hang on, what's, what are you? Heartwood, good. Now, who wants to bet the angry armor statue objects to us being here? Hello? Yeah. Another sentinel construct. We'll have to take it down. Oh. Was it Easy enough. a bit easier than but the last out. one? Whenever you see one, there's more nearby. I mean, it's not like there'd be just one guard in a major elven temple, right? The boy symmetric back in position. Okay. Seeing these so... kinds of ruins never gets old. Anything here that can help you piece together what exactly that artifact is? Mm -hmm. I have a theory, but we're miles away from where that artifact should be. Okay, that's not good. Ah, chest. Um, also, oh, this is the path onwards, so, uh. Yank. Okay, they, they're not phasing through doors. That's kind of a nice touch. So grab the loot from here. Okay, maybe they are phasing through solid doors. Just when I'm not looking is all, which I suppose is a decent compromise. Do, 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 do. Rapier, much more damage. Okay. Um, inventory. Right. Rusty sword. Storm needle, common rapier. Fair enough. Rusty bow. Helm slot. So, helm, amulets. Okay. Can I adjust everyone else's inventory? There's a lot of them. And apparently I do not get to preemptively uh, shoot some of them first. Hey guys. You're not going to wake up on us, are you? Oh, who am I kidding? Of course they're going to wake up on us. It's their job to wake up and try to stab Shank or otherwise. Yeah. It means I was right. Right about what? About where we are. It's an armory. Really? I think I know what the artifact is. And this is good. Why? Thank you. Let's see. We are attacking. Yeah, time slow, please. Not too bad. Ouch. Takes a red flash, I think, means dodge, so it's. And yellow slash means you have got the option to defend, like so. Ow. It's all over the parry there, but no matter. Huh. Actually, it's heads for warnings in combat. They're dead. Yes, let's. Alright. Would have gone better. Half health. Now, would you mind telling us what this artifact is and. So, uh, this is an armory. What yeah. sort of artifact are we finding? A weapon? An archive spirit. Oh. A what? A creature of the Fade bound to a crystal. 
Ancient elves use them to store knowledge and to help them dream. Help them get into the phage, you mean? Lovely. Well, they look like fun, don't they? Mythalinast. Dark spawn. Well, look at that. Yep, that's not a good sign. Until today. Okay, we have got some loot. A blue light of okay, I think that's just decorative lighting. A long drop. And by the looks of it, another device that I'm going to have to get our new friend Bellara to deactivate. But first and foremost, loot. Looty loot loot loot. And then head back to the artifact and uh, set up for a large pile of dark spawn. Another one of those resonance. How bad could it be, really? Yeah, Once I shut it down, the path ahead will remain blocked until the magic dissipates. And of course everything back. nasty will roll in to object to us deactivating it. Okay, Bella, Laura, get it done. You're up. While we're at it, um, quick combat heal while we've got a moment. I don't have to blow a potion. There's a problem. Done. I've never seen dark spawn this deep into Arlington Forest before. Yeah, the combat's as far kind as of I smooth. Know, it's never happened. I mean, it's not the elven gods quite elven ring, but uh, it's reasonable no enough. You. you saw those dark spawn, though. Something was different about them. The glowing red eyes and weren't we'll a hint. Once we get out of this bubble. Right. Let's get to that central temple. Huh. Knock, knock. Darkspawn, right where you broke that wall. Kaboom. Friendly fire. Nope, looks like we're okay. Ah, and the door is magically open. Wonderful. That was rather satisfying. But it was the Tevinter gods that got mighty when they inspired their masters to invade the Golden City. Hmm, who wants to bet that possibly they were one and the same? And another resonance amplifier. Yay! Be I hope. Fingers crossed. Also, you know, those angry sentinels. Can I just get a preemptive? No. Spoil sports. Hi guys. Um, right, this is almost certainly a terrible idea. Your stuff. We'll just be. Uh... Yep.
I'll just be talking like a madman. Optimism is encouraging, Bellara. Unfortunately, this place is where it is. I mean, it's almost like it's feeding off the elven magic. That's probably because it is. All right. Uh, let's see, Bellara, heal us up. Appreciated. And stock on potions while I get the opportunity. Yank. And let's get the loot place dry. On the basis that the only thing we'll be doing once the Inquisition gets her is burning it to the ground. What's around here? Um, ah, a bit of hidden loot. Can't demolish the dark spawn and do breeze. Timeline seriously wrong for them to be doing an identity con. Okay, I'll take you your word for it. it Seem like the obvious explanation as to why the Tavinter around the Elven gods would be both mucking around with dark spawn. If that building's what I think it is, maybe they're then the just means... going with what's handy. We're here. This is it. This is where it was kept. Lucky us. Where what was kept? The archive spirit, or as the ancient elves called it. Nodis Durthalin. It means the inevitability of knowledge. Okay. Why is it called that? I don't know, actually. The notes were never very clear on that. Right. That's not ominous at all, is it? <laughs> and, oh, hey, boss. More constructs ahead. The inner sanctum. We're getting closer. Lucky us. Hi. Yeah, it's upset, right? Lead with the heavy stuff. Let's deal with the rage support quickly. Don't stay near them. Frenzy guy, that would be terrible. Right. And, oh, okay. Gravity is a thing. Oh, there's an achievement board as well. And Dark Spawn, really. Don't be there. Take advantage. Very fast, convenient. Right, heal. Again. Reflexively dodging, in fact, double dodging, courtesy of Elden Ring training. Ow. Poach it out. We're going for the parry every so often. Alright. Um, tab. Get a heal. Thank you. No, that. Uh, ice break around again. <laughs> Not so 
that. Okay, concept plating, gold, and of course, treasure chest. Looks like this door is going to need a second power crystal. Then let's go find one. Right. Also, let's um, upgrade my bow. Yank. Veil's Edge. Much better. Main hand weapon's not going to help. Can I change my other character's equipment? Don't seem to be able to. Right. Power crystal. One. Ah, you look like a power crystal. Question is, how do I... Ah, I see. Can we get up here? No. Damageable wall. Access to the power crystal. Convenient ballista. Seems like a fairly obvious solution to the problem. I just need to figure out how to get up to the fairly obvious ballista. Um, okay, through those stairs and round, which means getting into this building. The door was probably a hint. Except the door is shut. Ah, power crystal. Okay, I see. There has to be another one of those power crystals Fairly around here somewhere. Mr. Dale, you'd be surprised how hard it would be to get people to look up in video games. Alright, so drop the power crystal in here. That opens this door, which gives us access to the fairly obvious ballista. Okay, blight boils. Or just stab Another ballista. I bet we could use it to break through that wall. Yep. Okay, I wasn't expecting constructs, but uh, they weren't expecting artillery, so eh. details. I suppose it evens out. Bonk. Right, power crystal. And extra loot. Even better. Alright. Crystal follows me. Do, 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 do. Shove that in here. And then go get the other crystal. Right. Done, done, and... Done. We did it. All that's left is the Nautis Dirthalin. I have so many questions for it. Um, You're going to ask it questions? A lot of blight. It's an archive spirit. You'll see. I'm guessing somebody's going to yank it out from under us, but details. All right, shiny loot. Oh, blacksmith tools and a better broadsword. Me wanty. Yeah, I hadn't actually noticed that, but I will take your word for it, and uh, that is a nice detail of them to get right. Or it's turned into a demon. Yeah, that's another possibility. I'm just working on the this is Dragon Age, nothing ever goes smooth theory. Especially when they had your health potions in a pile of loot. Hi. Lots of health potions, and then the cutscene. Okay, here it is. The Nodis Dirthalin. So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back. Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. Of course it is. As if darkspawn demons and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. Hmm, what's tricky about it? What do you mean by tricky, exactly? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Yeah, that's tricky. Good news is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. You think? Okay, here we go. Um, the way the magic is pulsing. I've never seen this before. That would be because of the blight. It's almost like it's breathing 
Uh oh. Hi. You look unhappy. Ogre. That's an ogre. Oh, good for us. Right. Hit it. Ow. I said hit it, not me. feels a little unresponsive at times. I'm not sure if it's animation or not, or doing something else. Right, arrows in the head. Ow, two dodged. Okay, heal from... Uh... They could use names, couldn't they? Right, both guns, Bilara, and if we could have an icebreaker, please. No, you're still on the Oh, I see, so it's a global cooldown of all their abilities, but I use one of them. Okay, so it's not just spam everything then. Ow. I think it's mad. Yeah, it's mad. Oh, so ultimate mission has ultimate mission. Ultimate ability. Lucky me. Let's try not to die first, shall we? Hmm. Apparently, I have stuff with it. Is it going to have the decency to die? Thank you. And the glow stopped, well, so I'm guessing that means it's dead. wasn't to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. Okay. Let's see. Okay, okay. There we go. Ooh. No, no, no. That's good. I think. Oh. Hello, spirit. What does that crystal do? That would be the interface. Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> Um, did we just let something out? Sulanan, Vir Sulevanan, and Asal Dirthara. Well then. I am the Nadas Dirthara. And it speaks English. Convenient. Right. Um, I have questions. I am the Nadas Dirthara. What do you. Oh yeah, the batteries are flat, aren't they? So that's the Archive Spirit. Was the Archive Spirit. So that's the Nardis Dithalan. It was, or is, I mean. Crystal's broken though, needs fixing. It's 
dynamite thing, fixing magical stuff. Congratulations, you have a new pet project. I thought Justin's new power source. Strife in Irulan will want to know about this. And the Blight, and the Darkspawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veiljumper camp. Okay, we'll have a quick loot round first, though. Yeah, tradition. It's not a proper dungeon crawl if you haven't looted the place dry. Yikes. So, ooh, plenty of cash. Wrap up any unfinished business. Okay, so Bellara can spend her own skill points. And she's got a new longbow, right. Okay, equip that for Bellara then. She's got new shinies, and other than that, I think we're good. Everything else is sealed up. Yep, we're done. Okay, back we go. Ready to go? Let's go. Maybe they've just right. been on diets, Legolas, who knows. Come on, I'll show you the way to the Veiljumper camp. They've had better days, haven't they? Yay. Eleven wounded, sixteen on bed rest, and some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of bail jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary. So, not a good day for them then. Hey guys! We're back! I think her healing magic's going to be getting a lot of uh, overtime use. Maybe she broke it the at hell some Milva point. Never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. Were. Were a hundred people living in that village. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. Yeah, we ran into We've them. evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn too, near the Nadis Durthalan. Wait, you found the Nadis Durthalan? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods, figure out their next move. Uh, yeah. Too bad it's broken. If it weren't broken, maybe. But we're not getting anything out of it anytime soon. Meanwhile, bell jumpers are disappearing. Something out there took them. I know. But maybe, if we find them, we find the gods. Or at least some sign of where they might be. But Arlathan Forest is huge. Where do we even begin to look for them? Start with the village, the follow crossing. the bodies. Yeah. What? Irulan and Strife. When we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demeta's Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. You mean four? four. You're not leaving me behind. You were just wounded. We can... You'll have to tie me up to keep me here. Anyone got some I rope? I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people. And it might get you on the trail of the gods. Oh, right, Demetta's I see. Crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Watch your back out there. And good luck. I, th I think what's getting me about the lip syncing is, well, the lips. The jaws, the jaws seem to be moving correctly, but the lips aren't shaping as you'd expect. Okay, so we have Bellara on the job, and the Veil Jumpers like me a bit more. Could we really be at war okay, own... we'll need a boat yep. to get there. Let's head to the dock. We aren't prepared. Okay. So, job, job. I need to stop by a merchant. Looks like there's one over here. With the handy What's merchant you icon. What's crossing? Bail jumpers have gone missing. Do we know why? 
Someone will have to go out there and find out. Guess who volunteered? Looking to inflict some pain? I have what you need. Okay, so money and resources to rank up the merchants. Sell off some valuables. Faction strength. Ah, uh, let's just flog the lot. There we go. Bell jumpers like me a bit more, I think. And bye bye bye. So, short bow for Harding. Yep, that'll do. And how am I for cash? 785. Wouldn't hurt to get helmet, I suppose. Four hundred gold there. And accessories, okay, all locked on shop rank. Heartwood as material. Hmm. All manner of stuff. Right. Okay, so I have a helmet. Yoink. And now I cannot see what I'm do. Actually, no, no, there are some eye holes. They're just rather awkwardly placed. But yes, technically now I cannot see what I'm doing. Nothing major. Raise some questions about four stars of the kids. Don't blow that. Yeah, details. Um, try not to think about it too much. Right, companions. Okay, so we can upgrade their gear. So let's see. Harding gets her new short bow. Bond with a companion has increased press F to improve skills. Right, so we can level everyone up. Soothing potion. Or adrenaline rush. Okay, so she's got both baseline abilities set. When activated, you have. Okay. Ah, I. Okay, no points on Harding at the moment then. Fair enough. Neve, no upgrades. Sorry, Nev. 16 years in Scotland might have slightly rubbed off on my accent. Uh, oh, yeah, Bellara. Skill points. Advance your relationship by completing contact with the Japan. Okay, so the, they essentially level up as we develop. So, time slow. Feebling shot applies weakened. Fade bolt, lots of damage, detonates and sundering. Galvanized. Yeah. Right, let's go with fade bolt. Oh no, acquired already. Fine. So she's got all her core abilities unlocked. So we pick two time slow. We'll go with that. And damage plus barrier 50%. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll go with that. Use that as a way of quickly bringing down barriers early in a fight. Okay, everybody else seems to be set. Precision off defend. Snag that. And my ultimate is now unlocked. Concussive barrage. 2,240 physical damage and... Deal increase stagger. Assuming everything's not dead in the process, of course. Right, bit more detail in the codex. Archive spirits, but they're not spirits. Not really spirits can think. They have no free will. Uh, huh. Only supposed to be seven, and they're all destroyed. So where did this one come from? Oh dear. So whose archive spirit is it? That's a good question. This one is because it's not half melted. Right. So matters dealt with, as I can tell. Okay, and so there we go. Oh, First yeah. two hours. Do you not to die, yeah? It can be rough out there. Uh, your concern is appreciated. Yeah, that's the plan. If it gets too rough, just come back and I'll square you away with better bits and bobs. So you not expecting to suddenly run into a Cockney Elf in all of this. Uh, then again, I'm out of date on the Danish, so that might be relatively normal for them. So, first two hours in. Graphics are actually pretty snazzy. Frame rate seems okay. 
reasonably tolerable. Combat mechanics are... Well, aside from a little niggle about dodge time, they're fine. And it's nice that it encourages you to fluidly switch between ranged and melee. Writing, maybe it's just me, it's a personal thing, but they, they do seem to match my sense of humour. Ah, what, you mean it's worse? <laughs> and, yeah, my only niggle is, as I say, the lip animation is a bit rigid compared to what I would perhaps expect, but we'll see how that comes on with the characters and their accents. Either way, that is where I am going to wrap up the evening. Off to the crossing probably tomorrow. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm not sure when because I'll need to edit it and get it uploaded and processed before you can see this. So I will see you when I see you. Until then, have a good one and farewell.